Hello again everybody. Great news, it's Thursday after the NEC show and I've had a call from Nikki back at home to say that the new blow up awning we ordered from Outdoor Revolution has arrived. So uh, hopefully we'll get to test that out this weekend when we're off to Rotherham again. Well, look chaps, there is the delivery. It's come in two packages. And there's a big warning on top of the box. Don't open it with a blade and stab your awning. Make sure you read the manual and register it for the warranty. So we'll have to be careful to do all that. So, let's get her open. Not a blade, it's a key. So, well this, I believe, will be the inner sleeping compartment thingy that we ordered as an extra. Yeah, two berth sleeping inner tent. Seems to have a bit of a life of its own. Stay there. This looks like the pump. Double action air pump. I'll leave that in its little bag for the moment. And this will be the awning itself. Get rid of the box. I'm guessing that's the card to fill in for the warranty, is it? No, that's just the label. Ah, this is the card to fill in for the warranty. Right, you don't actually fill in the card these days, you have to go to the website. So we'll be sure to do that. That's actually not too heavy either, I can lift it up. Yeah, dead easy. I've no idea what it weighs, it probably says somewhere. Right, I'll put it in the van. Always a good idea to keep hold of the box until you've at least put it up once, I reckon. Well, I'm sure everything will be fine. Oh, well, it's uh, Friday lunchtime. I've got the afternoon off work and uh, we're almost ready to head off. We're off back to the Waleswood site at Rotherham Country Park that we visited earlier in the year when it had just opened. Well, the weather's not looking too good. It's uh, forecast to rain later today and I think tomorrow, so that should give the awning a good old test. Well, we've arrived, it's a bit windy and wet. I think we're going to go in and have a cup of tea before we set up. Oh, lovely, look at that. Cheers. Right, so well, we're on our pitch. Sorry if there's any wind noise here, but it's a little bit blustery. We're on our pitch and I've pulled the van as far forward as I can, really, on the pitch to leave some space for the blow-up awning behind. Well, I tell you, well, the blocks was very clear that we had to read the instructions before we set it up. So uh, let's open the bag, see if we can find them. There we go. Instructions and repair kit. Yeah, well straight away this says ideally erect your awning for some period before use, allowing it to weather. There shouldn't be any problem with weathering this weekend, should there? Uh, seam sealant can be used to solve any persistent weeps. Well, hopefully it won't make me cry, but uh, it's always possible. Uh, this process is completely normal. Weathering the process of allowing your canvas product to get wet, then dry, approximately two to three times. Well, I think we'll certainly get it wet. Right, well I've had a quick read of this. Uh, the crack seems to be to peg out the four corners, blow it up, then peg out the rest. Then put this fiberglass pole in the canopy. Excellent, let's crack on. 
Now our van does have this rail at the top, but I don't think that's an awning rail. Mind you, it's got a groove in it. I don't know. Well, we haven't got to that stage yet. We'll deal with that later. Oh, well, as you might have seen, that didn't go too smoothly. Um, it's a bit breezy here. It's, it's not that windy, really. It's as windy as you might expect it to be sometimes on a campsite without being horrendous. But uh, we just could not uh, get that sorted out. So uh, we decided to give up before we damaged it. Uh, one of the problems we did have is that when you pump it up and you take the pump out, the little cap you have to put in, uh, however quick I was, it seemed to let pretty much all the air out before I got the cap back on. Anyway, we've got it all bundled up in the front seat. I haven't folded it up, we've just bundled it in the front seat. And we'll maybe have another go tomorrow if it's not as windy. If it is as windy, we're gonna have to try and fold it up somehow. I can now see why they call them divorce in a bag because uh, there were a little bit of raised voices on occasions, weren't there, darling? Actually, I must admit, it is getting windier now. I think it was getting windier all the time we were trying to put it up. So, uh... I guess we'll give it another chance. We might not be able to try tomorrow because I think the weather forecast is even worse for tomorrow. So uh, we may just have to try and fold it up, but uh, we'll see how it goes. Well, we've had a reasonably nice evening playing Scrabble. We had a nice fish pie that Nikki made. We heated up in the oven. The wind's died down quite a bit now, but it is forecast to be very wet tomorrow. But I think even if it's wet and the wind has died down, I'm going to have another go at putting that awning up. Oh, well, it's uh, Saturday morning. Let's have a look, see what it's like outside. Hmm, a little bit wet outside today. Well, I've been up to have a shower. The shower blocks here are still uh, very nice. Uh, the one that we went in this morning is the one they were still working on last time we were here. But uh, fantastic, uh, well-appointed toilets and showers here. Anyway, we're going to have some breakfast and then have another bash at putting up this awning. There's hardly any wind at all now. It is still raining, but... You know, you need to be able to put up the awning in the rain, obviously, so uh, we're going to have another bash at it. Yeah, it is a bit damp out there today, though. Oh, well, uh, there's another problem. The uh, ground behind the van is uh, rather flooded. So I think I'm going to have to move the van over and uh, put the awning up maybe... Um, on this slightly drier bit. Yeah, this is no good. Well, that's the van successfully moved over. Now, let's have another go at putting up this awning.
You can see how I've secured it by tying it onto the wing mirrors. Now our wing mirrors are pretty robust. They're nice solid steel brackets, but if you've got more delicate wing mirrors, I guess that might not be such a great idea. Right, we've got it up and we're having our tea. What do you think to it? Brilliant. Maybe need to perfect the process a little bit, but uh, I think we're pretty pleased, aren't we? Yes, darling. You're soaked. <laughs> I am a bit soaked, yes. Anyway, now we're off up to the cafe place because we've got some friends to meet. Well, we had another nice cup of tea up in the cafe, but now it's time for us to have a walk in the rain down to the country park and maybe have some lunch there. I can't wait. <laughs> well, the weather's not so bad, is it, though? No. Well, there's the uh, lake down there, and I think we just follow this track down. This is quite a pleasant little track to walk down. There's a bit of uh, a stream flowing down this path. Nice autumn colours though. Nice weather for ducks. And we're nearly down to the visitor centre. Not very far down to walk at all really. Oh dear look, a warning not to enter the water. Do not touch scum. Ooh, high levels of algae. Good old flow down there. Spot a lunch at the cafe. Still quite nice out by the lake though. The water sports place seems to be closed. I guess that might be in connection with that algae problem. Or maybe no one just wants to go out in this sort of weather. Oh, there's a little miniature railway, but uh, unfortunately, I think it's closed as well. Well, Nicky's had enough of the weather now, haven't you, darling? Yeah, I'll leave it to the ducks from now on. <laughs> so we're going to head back to the van. There we go, that's a welcome sight. Although the rain does seem to be easing off now. Well, Marilla's come to see us and her and Nikki are talking in the van, but uh, this is an interesting development. Look, the uh, sun has come out. Absolutely lovely now. Well, anyway, thought I'd come out for a stroll and uh, gather my thoughts about this new awning. I reckon that's actually uh, pretty good. It seems to be pretty waterproof. We sat in it and didn't notice any drips or anything like that. I think now I've got the hang of putting it up. It's not too bad. It was just too windy last night, I think. So you probably couldn't put it up if you did arrive in the wind. You'd have to leave it till the wind died down a bit. Yeah, the question is, I suppose, how it would stand up once you'd got it up in the wind. It has got those storm straps, so I think it probably stands a pretty good chance. But uh, I guess as with any awning, if you get really high winds, you'd have to take it down. Uh, the uh, Halloween celebrations are in full swing here. <laughs> oh, we've come out to dinner to the Asia Palace. Oh, well, we just had a great Chinese meal in there. But I just wanted to come out here and show you this. So, yeah, there's a, a head wheel here as a monument and it's a monument to the mining industry in Wales and Kiverton Park so looks like the last colliery here closed in uh, 94 so not that long ago oh well, it's Sunday morning I've got the kettle on the wind did get up quite a bit last night but the awning seems to have stood up to it pretty well Although it was a bit noisy and flappy at times, I think because the connection bit to the van isn't quite right. And also the straps that go over the roof were a bit rattly in the night as well. Well, I've had our breakfast and uh, had a bit of a shower. And now it's time to get the awning down. It's quite dry. It's a nice sunny day now, so uh, we shouldn't have to dry it out when we get home.
So there we go, that's the awning down. Wasn't too bad in the end. I'm not sure the deflating it with the pump bit really worked because as soon as the roof come down, I think the poles got kinks in them, which meant you couldn't push it out. So I found it easier just to push it out once it was on the floor. But uh, other than that, packed away pretty easily. Well, we're home now and I've gone on to the Outdoor Revolution website and I've registered our awning for the warranty. So we should be okay, I reckon. So I think on balance, uh, that will be a very useful addition when we go away. Useful extra room, perhaps for someone to sleep in and also for putting our wet boots, wet coats and stuff in so we don't have to bring them into the van. The few problems we had, I think, were mainly due to obviously trying to put it up in far too windy a condition. I think if we arrive somewhere and it's windy like that, we just have to wait to put it up later. It did seem to cope well with the wind once it was up, but putting it up in the wind was uh, a little bit tricky. But maybe with a bit of practice, we'd get better at that. Also think I need to upgrade the way that we fix it to the back of the van. Slinging the straps across the top was okay, but I think I need to get an awning rail to fix along the back of the van and maybe a drive-away strip as well. I'm not so worried about that because we don't tend to move the van once we've parked it on the site, or if we do, we're off to the next site. So uh, I'm not sure how much we'd use the drive-away function, but... Uh, I don't think they're particularly expensive, so we may go for that as well. So overall, pretty pleased with it. Well, that's all for now. If you enjoyed it, press like. Subscribe if you want to see some more. And ring the bell to be notified when we upload something new.